Hello, everyone. I was watching the other day a video by narcissistic web, uh, Betty, and uh, she was talking about anger and how anger, if you're not a narcissistic person, for example, uh, if you have, uh, for example, an outburst of anger, and you scream and say things and, and all that, um, that, uh, for example, a narcissistic person will be getting supply from it, let's say joy. <laughs> um, so it made me think about um, a different case. Uh, let's say like myself, I, I thank God, uh, I never saw anger around me. I didn't have much concept about anger, basically. Um, I didn't see it in my parent, I didn't see outbursts, I didn't see um, fights. I mean, they did have them, I knew, but, you know, it was never expressed in anger and all that. So, not much concept of anger. And uh, when you go in life and you don't know much about anger and you you tend to not feel that much anger but uh, of course you get upset about things yet you don't express it also it was ingrained in me or it, I was brainwashed or I don't know somehow that anger was a weakness you know to show anger was a weakness so people around in society tend to see people like me for example uh, they don't express their upset or anger as a sign of a free hand. So you have a lot of situations as you, you know, as a teenager or whatever, or in life as an adult, in which you encounter people who will take advantage to that, about that. And uh, so they take it as, uh, you know, yeah, go ahead. She never gets angry or never express or, you know, doesn't have feelings. That's something that the narcissistic society uh, tend to feel. If someone is not angry or, or you know, doesn't show the, or express the, the upset, uh, um, that's a weak person where you can go and, you know, give some more. And, uh, of course, with an INFJ, for example, they, they will tend to have a big surprise one day. And not because we show uh, anger or adverse, but... Uh, we tend to be really minutious and uh, cold <laughs> and tell it as it is. So we prefer not to do that. But uh, yes, Betty's uh, video about anger made me think about uh, uh, how do I felt when I did actually get to have an outburst. Well, actually I have to say that... Um, it felt liberating. It felt good. I'm sorry to say, but it felt good, you know, to express that someone was taking advantage, for example. It could be a friend, it could be in any sort of uh, social or, or, or relationship. Um, yeah, this is what, this is what uh, the narcissistic society expects you, you know. Expect people to be angry and uh, express that anger and, uh, you know, take it on someone else and destroy someone else if you can, you know, like just like they did to you, for example. And that's something that I believe uh, is not healthy, in my humble opinion. I mean, yes, you have to express your anger. Um, but, you know, somehow, somehow, if one can... Uh, in a compassionate way, it makes a society better. It makes me say to the narcissistic society, no, we don't abide by your rules. We abide by the rules of compassion, for example. But, yeah, I have to say, if I ever have an outburst and I tell it as it is, uh, well, it felt good. I'm sorry, Betty. <laughs> okay. Bye for now, darling.